Yes, give me some shells. We can just hold them off a few minutes more. Admiral Corby will be here with help. Hope he's not too late. They're loading that gold on the truck and almost ready to take off. Just keep him busy there a minute. Don't let him get to the truck. Thanks, Admiral. There's your gold. Guard this. Let's search the plant. All right. While we have succeeded in capturing a number of the foreign agents and prevented the stolen gold from being smuggled out of the country, the ring leader still remains at large. Therefore, I ask all citizens to be on the alert for indications of the subversive activities I have described. Thank you. You can relax now, Admiral. We're off the air. Very nice broadcast. Smoke great. Don't mind if I do. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Thornton. That's perfectly all right. Have any luck breaking down the code book? No. This is one of the tightest foreign codes I've ever run up against. Where did you get it? We found it on one of the masked men when we raided the pottery plant. Frank Perry in Washington is the only man I know who can break it down. Well, I'll get it to him on the next plane. Good evening, Miss Corby. Good evening. Get Jack on the phone, will you, Eve? Guess I'll be running along, Admiral. If you wait a minute, I'll go down with you. Fine. Oh, the line's busy, Dad. Write a memorandum to Barry and tell him how important it is that we get prompt action on the code. Well, what do you want me to tell Jack? Tell him it'll be necessary for him to take the 945 plane for Washington. 945 plane for Washington? I'll make it. I'll pick up the code book on the way to the airport. Oh, then we'll have time for a bite to eat before you take off. All right, I'll wait here for you. Fine, Eve. Goodbye. away from that telephone. I'll take that code book, Miss Corby. You won't get away with this, Mr. Drake. You see, I recognize your voice. That's unfortunate for you. It means you'll have to come with me. not to make the slightest sound as we leave. We're taking her along. Let's get rolling. Come on.
Steve. Keys jammed on the typewriter spelled Drake. Drake? Are you sure? Yes. The Transocean television truck pulled out just as I drove in. And I'm going down there right now. Jack! This is a surprise, Jack. What can I do for you? You can tell me where Eve Corby is. Eve Corby? That's what I said. We'll wait outside. No, you won't. You stay right here. It'll be too late to get them now. I'll call Corby and tell him about Eve. Ask him to send a squad of men here to take charge. Hard to say. Come in here, I want to talk to you. Hey, you forgetting about that phone in there? No, I haven't forgotten about it. the extension. Where are you? I don't know. They blindfolded me when they brought me here. Jack! Jack! I'll do the rest of the talking. Get back in that other room and watch her. Hello. You heard the girl's voice? You know she's here. Why? Why, yes. A trade? What kind of a trade? Spy Smasher for Eve Corby. I don't understand. We want Spy Smasher, you want Eve Corby. If Spy Smasher is here by midnight, we'll release the girl. 
How do I know you'll keep your word? You'll have to take my word for that. And remember, if you try to notify the police or set a trap, it'll be too bad for Eve Corby, understand? Perfectly. He'll come along. What's the address? 721 South Street? At midnight? Alan, I'm going there. This is my job. They want Spy Smasher. They'll get him. But not in the way they expect. Don't worry, Jack. What are you so nervous about? I wouldn't be if it was anybody else but Spy Smasher. Well, stop worrying. You'll never get nearer than the door to this building. Quick, out the fire escape. 